Hey all, Fred Hogue with Inspire Fitness, and today's segment's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna introduce to you and do a quick demo of our all new super sexy M1 Multi Gym. Now before I get started, I just wanted to uh, shout out some props for our design team on this piece. I really think it's one of the better looking gyms on the market today. I just love the lines, the curves, very attractive, great looking piece for the home. Now, um, this is a new piece for us, the M1, and so what I wanted to do is I wanted to be able to come out, out here and give you some really good pertinent information so that you can make a buying decision on this piece, make sure it's the right piece for you. So what I've done is the last month I've trained exclusively on this gym. And what I can tell you is that the M1 is very seamless. What I mean by that is going from exercise to exercise is very fast and efficient and very easy. As you can see, it's a complete cable gym. There's no traditional press arm on it. What you have are three sets of pull points. You've got high pull points up top, you've got mid pull points, and you've got low pull points. You've got D handles on all six of those positions. So it makes it very easy to go from exercise to exercise, not having to adjust a press arm, not having to take a D handle off a pull point and put it on another pull point. They're already on there for you. So if you're looking for a gym and you don't have a lot of time to work out, you want to maximize the time that you've got, um, the M1 is probably the machine for you. Let's take a look at it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sit down and I'm going to demonstrate a shoulder press. As soon as I sit down, I can grab hold of these lower D handles and immediately get right into a shoulder press. Now again, this is a cable machine, so I can either do this both hands at the same time, or I could go into an isolateral, one arm at a time a little bit better contraction in the shoulder when you do one arm at a time. Now, right from here, I can lay these on the ground, grab hold of my mid handles here, and I'm right into some chest work. I've got presses, flies, and again, this is not a traditional press arm. This is not a fixed motion. I can go any angle I want. So if I want to push down towards my knees and finish down in this area, it's a little bit more lower chest. If I want to push up towards my face, this is more upper chest. So user defines the motion, the angle with this gym. It's fantastic. This is just like a pair of dumbbells. Now from here, I can reach right over my head, sit back, pull down, and I get right into a lat pull down for my lats and my biceps. I can lean forward, bring this right next to my ears, and do an abdominal crunch. This is a great way to do an ab crunch because the pull point is directly above my head, so it forces me to crunch the abs correctly. Okay? So I just showed four exercises real quick. So you can see how fast and easy it is to get into this machine, get some exercises in, and move on. Now right from here, I can turn around, grab hold of the upper handles, get right into a tricep pushdown. Again, I can do it isolaterally. I can do it one at a time if I choose to do it that way. I can step back, do alternating bicep curls. I can switch hands here, grab opposite D handles and do a rear delt for the shoulders. Got plenty of range of motion for that. This is where it gets really interesting. Now the bench, telescopes. You can bring it out, lay it flat. So if you're someone who likes to do chest work laying flat rather than seated, you have that as well. Okay? Um, I actually like to do my inclines from this position. So from here, I can sit down quickly, grab my strip handles, and I'm right into an incline press for upper chest. I can do incline flies as well. Really nice exercise. Here I can turn around, bring my pad forward so it acts as chest support so I can do a chest supported row. This takes the lower back out of the movement and puts all the stress on the upper back. Good way to protect the back while you're doing back exercises. Now, if you do want to incorporate the lower back into the movement, then you're gonna lie the bench flat, brace yourself right here on the frame, and do more of a traditional seated row. This is gonna be the whole back top to bottom. From here, I can also just sit here do an alternating bicep curl. You can bring the bench back up quickly, reach up, and I've got another variation of a lat pull down for my back. Now, if I want to work some lower body, <clears throat> telescope the bench back in, grab my low handles, and what I'm going to do for quads, I'm going to step right up onto the bench. 
See that? That works the quads, isolates the quads. Now if I want to work, isolate my hamstrings and my glutes, I'm going to put my foot right on this platform out front here, put my opposite foot behind me, and drop right down into a lunge. This works hamstrings and glutes. Now I also, I have these low pulleys, have the ability to do bicep curls from this position. I can do lateral raises for my shoulders. It's just quick, easy, endless. What I suggest you do, go to our website, inspirefitness.net, go to our dealer locator, find a dealer near you. They'll have this on the floor. Get into their showroom, test drive it for yourself. If you like it as much as I do, take one home. Thank you.